you got one? I think so. Uh. But to, to where? to Joshua. The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. <sighs> Alright, round two! Boy, you really thought that was gonna work, huh? We don't have to do but we do, if only to remind you of your duty. I try. Interesting. That's why I'm dodging a little bit different. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. But as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you. Nice try. Defend yourself. All this fire and fury. I need that type of attack right there. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. How dare you? You know those in this world or of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods.
fuck is happening right now? If you guys are lost, I'm lost too. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I don't know what's happening. Attacks ain't doing nothing. Dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength, and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... ...to feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. 
We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods! With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back! That dude still defeated us. I mean, I was knew there was gonna be no damn change. We probably ain't gonna get no change so we get all six, all the the, the rain, remaining two powers. That's supposed to be in abilities. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It, it doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I 
think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Get ice. Cool. Don't worry, Clive. It is. I had a fella. The last one must be. I don't know. What the? What do you think this the last one? Is? Burden. I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. One day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. thought a smile could bring me so much joy. <sighs> the last power might be the road that we just followed. Might be his. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, I'll tell you that much. And then we fight Ultima at the end. <laughs> oh, I, I think that's what's going to happen.
What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Promise. Okay, so we all made it over here. Too bad we didn't continue this, but this is where we're going after we found a plan. Figure out something. Can't wait to see what ice powers they gave us. Mead says. Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Across the narrow, the power of Ayusa, Ice Age, Forceful, forcefully knocked back enemies great distance. Hmm, sounds very interesting. What the heck? Hold snap moves swiftly, huh? Either dodge attacks or close in on it. That's good. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I could. I'll probably replace that with the rock one for a little bit. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tony will allow it. Gotta save up, but I want to see what else should get. Damn, this costs three thousand to up to master. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Holy. Crap, that's that's interesting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I would use this. I would actually use it. Continuous. Yo, that's the same. Damn, that's the same as freaking lightning rod. Trouble with your gear? Nah, nah. We just want to upgrade. Ice brand. Three hundred. Three on it. Okay. <laughs> Three hundred. Alright. That's pretty dope. Lumps, the lot of How do you split the sea? I guess. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the forge and all that, well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. 
Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravost. All right, there's another one across. Damn, there's a fucking four. Sheesh. How many are they, how many are they plan to do? Damn. Edit central. Edit motherfucking central. Reading table, side quest. Along with other things. Okay. But oh, that was the end of that. The ending for that one. Okay. Oh, go up. Starting over is Quentin. That's cool. I'm glad we got to help him out a little bit. Ella's place. Okay. That was for her side quest too. And Captain Doris. What troubles her so deeply? Okay. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me. But I can speak to her at least. Self-determination. How was she? Who's this? Oh. This is, I said Queen. <laughs> I think it's Owain. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get met out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So... What exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell. Yeah. We're only three short, mind. 
and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Bro, do you see the amount of side quests there is? Bro, there's... We got three on the map, right? And then there's one, two, three, four. Come on, man, bruh. This part finna be filled with side quests. And then I'm done. <laughs> Holy crap, I came over here to fast travel back into the map. Crazy. I want to do this one since it's in the hideaway, so we can probably go tell us to go out the hideaway. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. How do alone, you alone, alone, alone. Bro, that bro, that Brody split the bro. <laughs> split the sea like it wasn't nothing, bro. Bad crazy. Now nah, we're gonna do these three at a time. <laughs> We got three up, we just gonna wait. And uh, yeah, we're we'll gonna do that later. I don't wanna have too many, I don't even know if you can have that many things up. So Dravosh is still standing, for now at least. If you can swing a hammer, you can swing a sword. Clive, you're here. And the Akashic? Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris' scouts, and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw. Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, 
You should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you wasted half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty! Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravoj is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. We're short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would ya? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. <laughs> this dude's so funny. He's not getting the logic of it, and he he just went home, dude. Whatever. You uh, ready for the off then? We can't afford to waste any more time. Right, you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackford. You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. Ah, <sighs> what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what a Kashyyyk beast can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And... Give those things what for, yeah? He said if they kill you. He free they'll have to come out to play for them. <laughs> we ain't there yet. really work for uh this oh yo it freezes them like that though oh that's for a lengthy time too oh yo this is gonna be crazy power Was that? Was that anything? That's all you got, bruh?
Let's get this over with. The Vicar enemies? Hmm. That's a griffin. Yes. Yes, just sit there and take it because you can't move. Goodness, that's crazy. Freeze that. And let's end this too. Dude, the lightning. Oh my goodness, bro. That lightning bolt is something else. Is that it? That we go. That go a dragon. not. Is that a dragon? Oh nah, that's something else. That's a hybrid. The hell is that? Bro, look like he lived by 500. Oh, it's a chimera. Yo, what the heck is that? What took you down so quick? Gotta love that epic music, bro. I know the wind, but it was like it was like something else at work too. I need more than that, bro. Sucks a little bit. Ooh. 
Is there, can you change like man fight abilities? I wonder. I actually have the wrong thing on. Okay, so you cannot. I just wanted to make sure. done there we go I have to find the right one the feet of the camera level up love me up level 43 let's go Give me quite a, a good amount of uh, points too. I need 1900 and something though. So I need 2k. No, the question is... Did I miss any? Man alive! You still in one piece! I slew as many as I could. As many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Before we go back inside, let me change this. I wanted this ROM. Right, that would have been interesting. That's that that would this plus the lightning uh rod probably would be a good combination. Plus this as well. Probably a great combination. We'll find out. Sid! <laughs> You're even more fearsome than your reputation. Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well... I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. <laughs> and from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier... It was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Travos isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. 
The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare not let them down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The Master Smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravosht in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with the hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> You know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. I was not expecting him to come back to the Idaway. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. Um, we're gonna go and do the other one that's here. Apparently that's not crap. Right. Just gonna do this. Even weirder science science? Okay. You deserve a rest. What is this one? Search for echoes? Hmm. Okay. I mean, I wonder, do you just freeze one person? to deal with these ones first. Oh, you freeze everything. Whoa. That, this might be the power for a good minute. Damn, this recharges us mad quick. Look at that.
this spherical echo. Okay. <laughs> Definitely enjoying this power. I might need to this see. Is... Right then. Just too much to find. I might need to see what the mastery look like now. I wonder if the mastery ex extends this. Or the, uh, with the upgrade, I mean. Oh, it does. I promise I'm going to save up to this. <laughs> I promise you. Just, I need, I need what I need. Doesn't still hurt, does it? It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beast men on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Okay. Hmm. I think it's this way, right? Yeah. All right. Our first. Uh, I don't even know what this is, bro. Search. Okay. Good. They haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. Good luck with that. You're welcome to try. <laughs> I like to use lightning.
the combo. Yeah. So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Sid! Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade? You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter. And I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you, for everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. And I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. So you put me at the hideaway. Well, I guess I'll do everything here. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and Muleta. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way. Over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be alright. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Carl. Quest complete. You're from giving us a lot of side quests. All of them side quests I saw that we need to get our points up. Come back. 
Definitely. Guilty? Oh, we can't talk to her. That's what Joshua? I'm pretty sure. Don't tell me we've run out of I don't even know what happened to Joshua right now. Ah, uh, the man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the outer isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is, then. Seventeen, well, I was like... Bugger me. <laughs> we actually did it. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Whoa. Okay. Sword to end all swords. Ragnarok. Oh. It's quite something. I uh, trust you'll take good care of it. Thank you. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history, but we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravoist. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! Ragnarok, bro. Damn, three twenty-five. Whoa, bro. We just upgraded the sword to three hundred. Now we got a three. Damn, that's a big level increase, dude. That's twenty-five. Usually it's like ten, ten or fifteen. They gave us twenty-five this time. Ooh, and there's another sword. What the? The Slayer God? <laughs> what? What's that? That should, that should be like 350, 400. Is Rack. So, did they give me. They gave me Rack and Rock, right? Or did they not? Oh, yeah, they gave it to me. Holy crap. <laughs> it's golden. Everything has been purple and blue so far. Yeah. Interesting. What do you want? All right. Uh, sh Damn. I said three fifty. They said nah, bro. Three seventy five. You need three of those. I need a dark steel. Two of those. Primitive battle horn. I need one of those. Those are all bounties, bro. Ding. They give you stuff and then they hit you with, hey, and there's some more powerful stuff. That's crazy. All right. 
can't reinforce it, which that's good because it. man, it's already pretty powerful. I we are about to go test it because we're about to go do the search for these things, and then we gotta oh, activate some more side quests. Gosh, the amount of side quests. Look at that. Holy crap, bro. I wonder how much they give you. Or cast, or cast it. Hmm. Forty, fifty, sixty. Hmm. Oh, it lasts a good amount of yo, bro. I almost got another one. I could almost use the again. Oh, that's crazy. Seventy-six. Not as much as I thought it was gonna be. Gotta fly. Mm -hmm. Damn it! The whole village is turned. Little do girl. Ah, cause of the okay. I guess we're just gonna run through this. Hmm. I'm trying to go through this one. Freaking invisible wall. Are we, uh, good?
thought we go. Give me a while, let's try to do it. Not in this map. Ooh, there's a tooth to that. Okay. We'll do that. Uh let me finish. Let me finish this. Let me figure out what this one's at. Yeah, Thanks, girl. Stop, Let's go. Their attacks are not powerful enough to be triggering. Whatever. his toes now all right now we could go back and yeah finish that side quest how was she with canva in the hands of all right Kashyyyk. we back bro ah sid wasn't expecting you back so soon so is it good news or bad good thankfully yeah. Ah, that's brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million! I'll fit into the smelter right away! May I present to you... The Telemon Furnace! In bad is she? She's a beauty. You saved my bacon again, Sid! And I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded! It's... it's fine, really. My bag's, uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. You could just buy me a bigger... How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on, the Telemon Furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> 
Well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You will love it. I promise. Well, we're gonna go over what one again. <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, a wine. A wine. Who mentioned it? You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. <laughs> Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, isn't it? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. Are we just gonna go up one again, or? Pretty sure it's probably gonna be one again. I don't mind. see what it says hit us with that tutorial which they should have did on this screen but hey oh they actually decided nope yeah one is on all other stuff well of course the potion skit too yep well, everything else is one cool with two d's huh oh this is the maximum too all right cool there's so many Zod quests to go activate. Crap. What's this? Oh. Lord Rosfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization. As if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. We haven't talked to this dude in a minute. Take that, you naughty thief! And that! Stop it, Renz! It... Clive! To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together? All is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. 
Our stores are full, and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the Mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws, and they grow more organized by the day. We'll fight them all off just like last time, no matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be, until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud, by finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more? How could I refuse? Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and speak with him. What's the difference between a lord and a mayor? That's easy. One of them swings a sword, the other forges them. <laughs> okay. A League of Outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. What's up, Victor? Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kosnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. All right, let's go do that. The other one's kind of far. And Those yeah. Hey, buddy, some of them over here. Must be the mentioned. Oh, come on, then, Togol. They like stop me in the mid in mid air. Killed Lock and Fingers. Take his head off. You know, to, in order to take my head off, you gotta swing. Nice try.
explosion. Well, he's done. to know. Sid, where are you? Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalamo. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, and without a crystal. But that's not possible. It is, if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who was made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right. I hear that in the background, like somebody's eating, like it was a go goblin back there. He must have took off his rag or something. Or and not. now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. <laughs> well... It was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubor. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies are wager, just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a Dalmec born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Why are you taking the bear aside? Why do they always have to make such a fuss? You knew all along that he was playing us for fools. And we fell for it. We followed him. A bearer. So what the problem is? Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. Uh, that's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. 
In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalamil. And they will thank you not to get involved. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refuse to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. Why do they always have to make such a fuss outside? Why the hell would Victor take the bearer's side? I assume the situation is hopeless? There's still hope. But... But, perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubor. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end, you'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubor... Rosina would often tell me... That steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true, that was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. I would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. You sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Damn, he told us real quick. He didn't even give it a second thought. Very interesting, eh? You're supposed to at least give it like a day or two and see where it goes. Not him. I ain't even gonna talk to them kids. You know, they gonna be disappointed, bro.